Hello guys and welcome, this is Sean Black for bringing you a very special review today. This is the eagerly anticipated WWE Greatest Rivalries, Shawn Michaels vs Bret Hart. This review today is for WWEDVDnews.com. I'm Sean Blackford, as I said before, and yeah, uh, this DVD was actually scheduled to be the first in the series of a, a set, and I presume they're still going to do that series. Uh, the first one was going to be The Rock vs Stone Cold Steve Austin, and I have to say, after watching this, I cannot see any more in this series beating this, because the Shawn Michaels, Bret the Hitman Hart rivalry is one of the greatest rivalries of all time. Not only was it a great rivalry to see on TV and kayfabe or not, these two actually had a serious rivalry, personal rivalry, and it was good to see these two sit down with Jim Ross and talk about everything. Now Shawn Michaels was recently voted the greatest superstar of all time on the Top 50 Superstar DVD. Bret the Hitman Hart was not too far behind him, so you, right off the bat you know that this set is going to be a great set. Uh, it's certainly the best DVD of the year, I'm going to say that straight away. Now, the Blu-ray set, uh, which came out in the UK uh, first, I believe, uh, in the world. Uh, it's a fantastic uh, thing for the UK to get this set before anybody else. Uh, it's certainly deserving. UK fans are some of the best fans in the world. And uh, I'm hoping that it's going to be the first of many Blu-ray DVDs that come out first um, exclusively in the UK. Uh, they're obviously getting the SummerSlam Blu-rays and uh, I believe every other Blu-ray pay-per-view Blu-ray, Blu so yeah, fantastic for the UK, and uh, this is a first, so yeah, you see the set, two two discs, disc one, disc two, uh, I'm going to take the inlay out because you can see it better, if I take it out, I apologise for that, I'm going to take this out, so you can see, nice um, pictures here, it's like a, presented in like a book form, Nice images, WrestleMania 12 poster there. Some nice images. And disc one, you get the documentary. We've actually uh, printed on the insert, which is fantastic to see. Obviously, to stop doing the inserts, particularly for the Blu rays, it's good to see the listing at least on the uh, sleeve. There you go. Documentary matches on disc one and matches on disc two. Um, some of the um, things that are better. On the Blu-ray, I would say, would be the match between Sean and Brett from Survivor Series 97. Which I believe could, I'm not 100% sure, but I think it's the first time that this match has been put on a set. Certainly a DVD, so that's good to see. Um, the I Am A Match for the WWE title, Brett Hart vs Shawn Michaels, is also on disc 2. Both Brett's and Sean's Hall of Fame inductions are on disc 2. As well as um, the return... A promo from Brett the Hitman Hart. Um, also, other promos of the Hart Foundation in '97 are on disc two. And the first ladder match is on disc two, as well as um, winning the WWE Championship for the first time. Little things are talking about there. Now, um, the match is on disc one: Rockers vs Hart Foundation from the Garden '1989. Uh, the first encounter between Brett and Sean in single action. As I said, the first ever ladder match from Portland in '92. All good stuff to see. Uh, but it's a documentary what takes this DVD to a whole new level. Uh, the way they set it out is that it's like San Antonio versus Calgary. They're talking about how they broke into the business first and foremost. Very, very similar the way they broke in. Um, Sean broke in to the WWE with this like kind of a bad boy image with uh, his partner Marty Jannetty that was regarded as like, you know, not the most, how would, how would I call this, um, bet, most well behaved guys. Um, Brett the Hitman Hart said that he wanted to come into the company and come straight into a tag team because he thought it would um, be better for him in the long run. Um, him and um, Jimmy Anvil Nighthart obviously formed the the Hart Foundation, which was a very successful tag team in the WWF in the early or late eighties, early nineties. Um, Shawn Michaels obviously was with my and it talks about them teams clashing and both wanting to work with each other in the early early days. It then goes on to talk about uh, the Hitman versus a Heartbreak Kid, the Hitman character going for the Intercontinental title around the same time as um, Br um, Shawn Michaels broke from my Jannetty, So a very similar paths here in the Continental Champion. Um, 
Brett the Hitman Hart. Then he soon became the WWE champion. As um, Brett was a WWE champion, Shawn Michaels was the Intercontinental champion, and they talked all about the IC title being the workhorse title and how much it meant to smaller guys, you know, in them years. And then on the 92, 93, 94 years, it certainly got these two over as main eventers. And they talk about how the business started to change from being the big guys to being like them, the smaller guys going for the main titles. And this, they said that this was better for the business because now you were getting the main event which was the best matches in the main event as opposed to the tag team match being the best match on the card and being mid card so that was good to see um, it, said, it talks about how these two actually had a great friendship um, before that they had their rivalry you know, talking about how uh, in them days the early 90s, mid 90s that they were fantastic friends and they was always well with each other and go around to each other's houses and whatnot and you know, Brett talks about how he feels that he helped Sean break through to a main event level guy. Goes right through it, um, the rivalry then spices up around WrestleMania 12 when they have to work with each other. Um, it's Brett feeling that Sean's clique of friends, Nash, Hall, you know, Waltman, um, Triple H, was, you know, taking over the locker room and he felt he was going to be taking over the main event spots. He didn't like that mentality. He wanted it to be, you know, nicely shared around. But he didn't mind dropping the belt to Shawn Michaels as he was going to be, you know, going off on his own little career. Um, that was fantastic to see. You know, all these moments are great, you know. As I said, they talk about the, er the early days breaking into the WWE, you know, showering stereotypes... You know, involving relationships with each other, Vince McMahon, the feelings about the other top guys, you know, pressures and backstabbing and rumours, you know, the aftermath of Montreal's talked about very, very, you know, substantially, if, probably for about half an hour to talk about that. And, you know, the, the reconciliation is then talked about a lot. I like this DVD, guys. It is certainly the best DVD of the year. You know, to hear Brett openly talking about stuff like, you know, the sunny days, and when Shawn Michaels at WrestleMania 12 told him to get out of the ring, it's just you know great viewing. You can't take your eyes off the TV. A lot of people might not like to sit through a what is it two and a half hours interview, but I could have sat through a five hours interview with these two. It was that good. Um, it's certainly, as I said, one of the greatest DVDs of the year. I'm not going to be you know be running away from a 9.25 out of 10 for this DVD. It's that good. Um, it could come close to beating a lot of the top DVDs from past years. What I don't like about this DVD is probably, you know, the fact that they just seem to talk about the earlier stuff a bit too much. I like to, I like to hear them talk about the later stuff a lot more. If that was, um, but they needed to talk about the earlier stuff. I mean, they seem to go off topic a lot of the time. Um, which wasn't needed. Uh, Brett the Hitman Hart seems to recall a lot more than Shawn Michaels, and rightly so, he was the one that was screwed, and it seems that Brett's been holding on to this moment for a long, long time. It definitely means a lot more to Brett than it would just to Shawn, but Shawn certainly, you know, wants to get this behind him and live the rest of his life. That's the expression I got. Like Brett says in this DVD, he thought about many a times after leaving the WWF, about jumping into the ring with a machine gun. Um, he thought about how that could be, you know, done. So, you know, they talk about the Owen Hart situation as well. Um, they're going to talk in a... Like, Brett, what I liked about this, there was a moment in DVD where Brett the Hitman Hart says, it, at one point, what really started to really get these two ahead each other was when Brett walks up to Shawn Michaels as WWE Champion. He says that they were scheduled to face each other at WrestleMania 14 for the title. And he says, look, I have no problem in dropping this belt to you, you know... I just, you know, I want you to know that. And Shawn Michaels turned around to him and says, well, it's great that you're going to do that, but I do, will not do the same for you. I just hope you know that. That, for me, was great viewing because here you got, it's such like, it's like a car crash, you know. You you feel a little uncomfortable watching it, but you just want to watch as well. And, you know, Brett's like, you know, you know, really open about this. And Shawn Michaels, like, he kind of blames it all on his mentality back then and how, you know... Young Awards and blames on his youth a bit. 
I like to think that Shawn Michaels still has a little bit of that in him now. I believe that Shawn was that pissed that he needed to get that point across to Brett. He, you know, Shawn says in the DVD that he wanted to change the industry and Brett wanted to keep it traditional. I like them, you know, it was always going to clash. And it's fantastic DVD, guys, and Blu-ray. You're going to get the Blu-ray over the DVD, let's face it. The, the Blu-ray's got a lot of more stuff, particularly the uh, match at Montreal, which the most of the DVD kind of circles around. And I was surprised that that wasn't a DVD extra. But yeah, um, definitely 9.25 out of 10, guys. Pick it up. It's DVD Blu-ray of the year. I have no problems in saying that. Please keep visiting www.dvdnews.com and please sub to my channel if you can. Sean Blackford, the link's in the description box. So yeah, go on buy this, guys. Uh, the release, I believe, is in nine days' time in the US. So yeah, pick it up and th thank you for watching. Peace.